Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to Panama City, Panama. We are arriving to the Tucumán International Airport. The weather in Panama is unpredictable, so be ready for fun, sun, and rain. Don't forget to use your sunscreen and subscribe to this channel for more videos that are coming soon. Panama is the hub for many countries and connect all Americas from Canada, US, Mexico, all the way to Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Uruguay, and the Caribbean islands. While you're at the airport, the complete process to go through customs could take between 20 minutes and 90 minutes, depending on how fast you walk, the amount of people on your route, if you like to window shopping, the speed of the customs section, and the amount of luggage you have. And if you have any illegal items with yourself, all of your bags will be checked with x-rays at checkout, no exception. Once you go outside, there are a few ways that you could go from the airport to the city. You can use a cab, usually between 20 and 30 dollars. There's also some rental buses and rental cars. There should be a metro or tram working soon. But if you're carrying too much bags or luggage, I would not recommend this way. There's also Uber and some other rides apps that are usually very safe in Panama. Once again, welcome to Panama. I'll be your host and guide, and I hope you enjoy the ride. So where is Panama Republic? It is a small country located at the end of Central America between Costa Rica and Colombia. It's about 75,000 square kilometers, a very small place. It's the most narrow section of the whole continent. There are many ways to arrive to Panama Republic by plane, boat, or car. All countries in North, Central, and South America have at least one type of connection to Panama, at least by plane, but also car or by sea. Also, some countries in Europe, like Spain, France, Germany, Holland, have direct flights. Panama has the Atlantic Ocean to the north and the Pacific Ocean to the south. There are at least six international airports in Panama. The most important are Tucumán International Airport, about 25 minutes from the Panama City downtown, being the largest and with the more traffic connecting all countries in America. There is also the Marcos Helaver International Airport, that is a small airport that connects domestic flights and some international flights from Central America mainly, located just about 8 minutes from downtown. Then we have Enrique Malek International Airport at David, that is about 450 kilometers from Panama City. This is the airport that connects domestic flights and some international flights basically near Central America and some from Mexico and US. There's also the Enrique Jimenez International Airport, the Pacifico International Airport, and then we have the Scarlett Johansson, oh, sorry, the Scarlett Martinez International Airport. By car, you can drive from Alaska all the way going to Canada, US, and all the Central America countries to Panama and get there through the Costa Rican border. Many country ships companies from different countries arrive to Panama from places like Florida, Europe, South America, and many others. Also, there is a significant sea traffic that goes through the canal of Panama that goes from Atlantic to the Pacific and vice versa. Panama City is a big concentrated urban area. You will find many places to do shopping like Albert Mall, Multiplaza Mall, Multicentral Mall, Metro Mall and others. The weather in Panama is extremely variable and unpredictable, but I warn you that Panama is not cold. It's hot and humid. There are two main seasons rainy and summer. The rainy season typically lasts from April through December, while the dry season lasts from mid-December until mid-April. Either season, I recommend you to use sunscreen and sun tans to protect your skin from the sun and also hydrate yourself properly because of the heat and humidity you can get dehydrated very fast. Also consider that even in the rainy season, it it is still hot and sometimes very humid. However, you have to consider that this can be very variable depending 
the place that you are in the country. You can have rain and sun at any moment. The mountain part of Panama, like Anton Valley, Bambito, Sierra Sul, and Boquete, typically experience cooler temperatures throughout the year. I hope you have enjoyed this video and subscribe for more videos to come. Have a great day. See you soon.